Sega. Hello, this is Magma WK. Welcome to my review of first impressions. Well, second impressions. Cam Studio decided to cause trouble there. But this is the Genesis game, Chester Cheetah. Let's go to the option screen here. Option. And we have jump dash. Dash jump. So let's go ahead with two buttons there. Okay. And let's start the game here. Uh, first Impressions is a game I have never played before. Okay, I played it once, but I had technical errors there. But guy, guy looking for it. He's going to cause some trouble. So let's go ahead here. I can't dash yet. I can jump. Kind of slow. But of course, what I found out is if you pick up the boots, oops, look out for that turtle. You can start dashing. <laughs> jump on <laughs> the Koopa Turtle. Oh well. Uh, that wasn't good. And, oops, fell down the sewer there. So I can collect these little paws, coins, whatever. I can also dash through these tunnels here and get a little bit of extra speed to it. And let's jump for greater justice. Oh, this part's a little tricky. I have to somehow avoid those piranhas, which I can't move up or down. They're, I don't see how to avoid them, really. Just try to trick them earlier than back tolls. Get a little spring in your step there. And collect more coins. I don't know if coins are going to do me any good here. I don't see any point system or anything like that. Cheeto increased my life there. And now I see a bouncing tire down there or something. I don't know if I can get to it or not. There we go. And go through the tunnels. Kind of a maze there. It sounds real nice though. <laughs> oh, they got that funky groove to it. Graphics are uh, pretty good. They're good cutting edge. And let's get up here. Although I find the game to be a little bit difficult, maybe for the kids. Ooh, invisible glasses can see the Cheetos there. Ay 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 ay. Ah, come on. I can. <laughs> Pancake. <laughs> There's definite amount of humor here. Wait a minute. I can't move. I can't move. Ah, that took a while there. That was kind of annoying. Nope. Didn't make it. Okay, let's get up already. Yes, I know it's squished like a pancake. Uh, come on. There we go. And I don't, you only get one life. That's crazy. But of course, you get continues here. Five credits. So since we have a little time here, I usually do first impressions, five minutes gameplay, and then a little uh, post word afterward there. So let's see if we can get through the stage and go real, real fast here. Got to get those boots first here. Hey, background's real nice. Looks like a regular cartoon there. Ah, come on. It can't get back up. But would I play yes can? Probably yes. Would I buy it? Maybe not, but it's... <laughs> Kind of interesting, they uh, corporate, I say, commercial basically actually turns out to be a fairly fun game here. Uh, it's kind of a pain to get through those though. A little bit di too difficult though for a uh, first time there. See if I can get through this time. The first time I actually got through that, no problem at all. And my five minutes is almost up, so hopefully I can quit falling in the sewer. Well, at least he moves fairly fast once he has those boots on, like a regular cheetah there. I don't know, maybe I'm supposed to crawl through? 
I swear I was on top of that. Okay. That is enough for this game. We'll post analysis in a little bit here. Oh yeah, you can't pause. So let's just end this already. <laughs> Eats all my credit. And that's it. Go ahead and watch the intro here if there is one real quick. Although I don't see the plot there. This guy just comes out of brick wall and starts running around carrying me. I got the balls. I got them. I got them. Okay, that's enough of that. Okay. Magma Dev Gay signing off. Apparently, the object of the game is to collect parts, that's what that tire was, for your motorcycle. I just wanna ride my motorcycle. GI Joe reference to those films, but some films. Anyways, and of course, we got the score at the end from the amount of Cheetos we collected. Not sure what that does. Moving on to stage two, I met a monkey friend. He has a little bit of help in stage two, defeating some enemies and letting me get the motorcycle part, which happened to be in the tire, but it's actually the chases or chassis, however you spell it or say it. After playing the game a little bit more, I discovered that control could be a real pain without those speed shoes. But fortunately, you can find speed shoes in every stage. The platforming got a little weird to say the least. And along the way I found several gadgets, one including an electric guitar, which I assume was invincibility is more like a uh, slowdown for me. And of course in stage three there got a few other problems as well. But overall not a bad game. Just the control could have been a little bit better and he moves slow as beep without his shoes. Later on.